<laughs> okay guys, I think it's time to drive the Ghibli Trofeo. If you guys are just tuning in for this video, we did a little bit of a further walk around for this car. I'm just gonna give you a quick tour really quickly. I've already taken on a drive. It's in black metallic, really nice paint color. Sorry for the wind. Of course, the Ferrari V under the hood is the real, real treasure there. Yeah, it's not much different on the Trofeo. It's a little bit of carbon trim. Of course, we have the Trofeo badging. But I think, I think the most important thing is to drive this because this thing sounds incredible. It has 580 horsepower to the rear wheels because we all love that. Um, it's also low on fuel, so we gotta be <laughs> a little careful because this thing, when I tell you it drinks fuel, it like it, it, it's, it's a thirsty girl. Pop into drive with an eight speed um, ZF automatic gearbox, the paddle shifters, they actually work really well. We also have a sport, Corsa mode, um, advanced efficiency and normal mode, and a bumpy and soft suspension setting. So I like to keep it in the soft suspension, actually. I think I find it works really well. Um, sport mode is where you're gonna get the louder exhaust, obviously, so I think I'll keep that open for you guys. <laughs> and um, yeah, let's head off. Grip for traction there. Yeah, this thing, it, it, it's always searching for traction. Now, it's a twin turbocharged 3.8 liter V8. So it's putting all that power to the rear wheels as well. And it has a lot of torque, real low end down. And it, it, likes, it likes to put that power to the tarmac as hard as it possibly can. And there is a tunnel coming out, a little bit of a bridge overpass coming up. And let me tell you something, this thing sounds freaking nuts. Of course you have manual mode, you're in a Maserati, of course. And you can hear in the sport mode, you also get a little bit more aggressive downshifts as well. Wait, there's a poor person to pass because I don't want to scare them. Yeah, it's nuts. It is a nuts car makes wonderful cracks and pops and all these cool noises. It thought it was gonna break there because it saw the shadow. <laughs> that goes to show you how great these systems really are. Um, yeah, I, I, I've kind of fallen in love with this car a little bit. Oh, that V8 just sounds incredible. And it's sad that Maserati is going away from their V8s. They are moving to their Natuno twin turbo V6. Of course, these V8s were coming from Ferrari anyways, so I think that contract has ended with them. But um, Ferrari still has some influence in some of the other projects. Yeah, this thing has no shortage of power. And it's really one of these kind of older style sedans where it's really, listen to those downshifts. Oh, it's awesome. It's kind of understated, I think, this car. It's, it doesn't look like it does, has this much power outside. And when you push on it, it goes. Like this is, this is a scary car sometimes. You gotta be careful driving this. Like it wants to get loose. It wants to break those rear tires loose. And it's actually quite fun. But um, of course you gotta be, that's, that's within parameters. You gotta be safe and careful with that. Um, I think that's the point of these Maseratis. There always were big engine cars, big engine first cars. The Gran Turismo had that wonderful naturally aspirated V8 that sounded incredible. And I think that's the point of these Trofeo models. You can get the Trofeo in, in the um, Ghibli and the Levante, and those are the only ones that you can have the V8 in. Um, the Trofeo Gargale and the upcoming Gran Turismo, those all will have the Natuno V6. So. You have your choice, uh, of course the Quattroporte has the V8 as well. Um, you have your choices of where you can have this V8 right now, but that is going away really, really soon. And it is really wonderful to experience. I don't really find it important to even talk about the rest of the Ghibli because we've known it. We've known it for years now. It's it's finally got an okay-ish interior if you really care about that still, but it's a fine space and you're really paying for this engine under the hood. And thankfully these ones are holding their value way better than the um, regular ones. And they should because that engine is fantastic under the hood. Um, I guess while we're in here for a hot second, you can see suspension settings put in sport and comfort, sport, Corsa. I believe to access Corsa, you got to hold it down. Yep. Or not. I'm not sure. I think Corsa needs to have traction control off, which we're, we're not going to 
we're not gonna we're not gonna do that <laughs> traction control is staying on in this car uh it's a little, a little terrifying but um yeah it's a nice place you get a leather stitch dash a carbon fiber outlined clock right here i think it's really nice with a little stitched leather hood on the top put the rear windows down for you guys a little bit as you can see there we just broke traction a little bit all that torque low down And the paddles actually work quite well for what they are, I have to say. Um, it may be a automatic gearbox, but it is a fantastic gearbox for what it is. The ZF gearboxes have been really, really impressive, um, especially in the Maserati Alfa Romeo products. We see them in the Stelvio Quadrifoglio, and I think they work wonders there. Um, really cool pops and burbles on the upshifts as well. So I think they've tuned it out properly. And hey, I think at the end of the day, this is a fantastic send-off for the Ghibli. Better than having some kind of hybrid or something, we have a Ferrari V under the hood. So, thank you guys for joining me on this quick video, driving the Ghibli Trofeo. Stay tuned, as always, for more content coming soon on All Car News.